Our Houston street names have tales to tell of humor and tragedy, of passions and pleasures, heroes and history, including Allen Parkway, named after Houston's founding fathers, the Allen Brothers. When Michael Lewis Westheimer first bought his 680-acre farm, he was so far out in the boonies, he built his own school and medical facility where St. John's School sits today. Because most of his livery business was in downtown Houston. He finally put in a shell road from where that corner is down to where the old Delman Theater was on Main Street. And so people called it the road to Westheimer's place and thus became Westheimer Road. Houston's first planned community was the Heights, appropriately named because its elevation was about 70 feet above sea level, 23 feet higher than downtown Houston. Back in the 18, late 1880s, Houston had horrible water, virtually undrinkable. Well, a company came in and dammed up part of the bio and started selling water, which is not much better than the, what they were drinking to begin with. During that process, a huge discovery. We were sitting on an ocean of artesian water, just pure as could be. Artesian Street is named for the Houston Waterworks well that was drilled on the banks of the bayou where the downtown aquarium sits today. Houston celebrates beloved bartender Dick Dowling with a street and a statue in Herman Park. Dowling's most famous drink, kiss me quick and go. One of Houston's grisliest murders occurred in the vintage farmhouse once owned by the dairy farming Driscoll family at 1815 Driscoll Street. Father's Day, 1965, the butchered bodies of current tenants Fred and Edwina Rogers were found in their icebox. The icebox murders have never been solved and townhouses replaced that old farmhouse. When River Oaks developers first put up lots for sale, each lot was the same size. Well, one lady wanted to buy two lots to build a bigger house. And they said, no, you can't. So she went to court and sued them, and she won the suit. And so it was said she had her way. Eventually, it got shortened to shatter way. Historic Houston Streets author Mark Hinton also found several themed street name groupings whether expensive cars. There's Ferrari, Rolls Royce, Bentley, Lotus, Jaguar. Or types of roses. Before he served as mayor, Bob Lanier was a real estate developer. He really was crazy about roses. Something he celebrated in the street names of his Twin Lakes development. American Beauty, Summer Snow, Tropicana, China Doll, Sweet Surrender, and for those with a sense of humor, Animal Cracker, Betty Boot, Cry Baby, or clever intersections like Sears and Roba, Mutiny and Bounty, Faith, Hope, and Grace. Houston's original street names were not found on street signs like this. They were built into the curbs on little blue and white tiles. In the 1920s, they were naming the streets and people drove a lot slower then, the cars were not as fast, and so they decided to come up with something that was interesting looking, but relatively inexpensive to produce. Faster cars required higher street names for better visibility, but many of the original curbside tiles remain, a pleasant reminder of Houston's slower-paced past. For ABC 13, I'm Dave Ward.